your day because I was sitting up here and you wanted to just talk to me and see how my day was going, that means some shit. You gonna, when you get into a long relationship that's been going for I don't know how much time, that means something. You can go back and think about, see, I know I, know I got me a good one because this person was just, just wanted to talk to me and see how my day was going. You don't necessarily have to have a reason to talk to people. See how the fuck they day going. Ask about family. What's going on? Are you doing all right? Is anything troubling you? Anything you want to talk about? Just talk about general shit. I sat up and had a phone conversation about... Probably, I had a phone conversation about hand sanitizer. And once again, it's in my bag. But come on now, I can have a conversation about hand sanitizer. But y'all can't just, like, text each other? Come on now. So, you know, we next, he didn't text me. Really? Hmm. So more than likely, you both are feeling awkward about each other because you both are confused on where to go from there, which is why you all might be accidentally avoiding each other. Assuming, assuming he's genuine, as I'm hoping he is. Now, you know, that's the point where y'all done got the, the whole first time meeting each other thing has worn off. And the effect is just wear it away. And now y'all are wondering where to go. Y'all don't want to text each other because y'all don't want to seem pesky. But that's how you lose that person in the process. Text them. If you feel like you're being a pest, if that other person hasn't said anything or showed signs of trying to ignore the shit out of you, then it's no problem. That's how you get over that. What the fuck? You cross the bridge when you get to it. God damn it, that's a bridge. I didn't fucking cross it. What, the, what, what do you know? You cross it when you got there. Y'all got there, and y'all cross it. Point blank, period. Hmm. So next, I guess I'm still really geeked, but I don't know if he's feeling me or not. Come on now. More bullshit. And that's exactly what I wrote. More bullshit. More bullshit. More bullshit. More bullshit. No disrespect, of course. How do you find out something if you're inquiring about it? How do you find out something that you're inquiring about? Come on now. How do you how do, how do you find out the time if you ain't got a watch? How do you find out what's for dinner if you're not cooking? How do you know what's in the fridge if you don't ask the person that's checking it because you know you're too lazy to get up? You ask the damn question. When the conversation reaches the right moment, in your opinion, as as him if he ask him if he's still feeling you or not. Or if you want to try and be promiscuous about it, ask suspect questions that will lead you to your answer. You know, trying to talk about like future type things, like where the future might lead or what might happen a few months down the line with us. You know, to see if he's still feeling it. And if he's trying to, you know, suggest things and saying keeping it together, then that's a sign that maybe he's still feeling it. Because you know, it's some lies and some snakes in the grass. And snakes is another video we'll get to later. Because I got some real shit to tell y'all about that. But let me, let me continue. Or if you want to be promiscuous about it, ask suspect questions that will lead you to your answer. And if it's taking too long to reach the point, just flat out ask me, are you still feeling me? Are you still into me? It, what, that's not making you seem desperate. You are at the beginning. It feel like I spelled this word wrong. I'm, I don't know. I got to check, pull out a dictionary. B-E-G-I-N-N-I-N-G. -I, I think I spelled that wrong. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. That's not important. But just ask. Ask him, ask her, ask whoever you're dealing with. Are you still feeling me? Are you still into it? She didn't do these dishes. Are you still, come on now, it's not that hard. That's not making you seem desperate. I can see if he was just on this person's job every day, all day, just, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Where you going? Where you going? Who you with? What's going on? What time of the day is it on your watch? Because my watch is a few minutes fast. What time is it on yours? It's a few minutes slow. We got that, get that in sync. You know about a millisecond. Millisecond, well, one needs to be on millisecond on one on mine. No. What type of soap you using? You wash up this morning? What, how long you wash up? No. Just simply ask the question. It's not making you seem like a pest. This is my opinion. It's not making you seem like a pest. So we're going to continue. He drinks and smokes and whatnot. Hmm. Now, I shouldn't even have to go in today, but I'm not going to be judgmental. Now, this is what I said, and I don't have no problem reading this. Now, those type of people are always some suspects, in my opinion. But I don't judge because there are a few genuine people that are just into that kind of thing, just going by my own stats. The majority of the people that drink and smoke, and when you got the, when you feel the need that you got to tell that person that he or she drinks and smokes, 
then it's obviously something big that might have an effect, has the potential to have an effect on your relationship. If I know somebody that drinks occasionally or smokes occasionally, well then I don't feel the need to bring that up as a as some as make it seem like it's a problem. But if you're saying that he drinks and smokes and whatnot means that it's something about that that's not sitting right with you, whether you want to admit it or not. And obviously you don't like it because you felt the need to mention it to me. So I'm just going by my own stats, and the majority of the time those people are nothing but looking for a fun time, as I mentioned earlier. Nothing but a fun time. And y'all know what a fun time is. Hmm. Expletive, expletive, expletive. So continuing. But the main point I had with the story was, I'm sorry, the main problem I had with the story was, he told me he's been with a lot of people, and he wouldn't even tell me how many. Now, people are allowed to have secrets, but that's just not something you have when pursuing someone, in my opinion. If you're hiding it, Clearly you're embarrassed by it, but still no excuse to hide it. If you're pursuing someone, obviously trust and honesty would need to be built. Need to be built, And that's definitely not the first building block. I'm going to put the paper down. You don't want to tell the person that, you're, that it seems like you're pursuing how many people you've dated. What? Glasses off again. Are you serious? You don't want to tell the person that you might be in a relationship with how many people you dated. Y'all fucking kidding me with this bullshit. What? That's something, that's one of the checklists. You know, you got your little checklist. Okay, we got our names. We got our numbers. We got friends and where we go to school. We got likes and dislikes. Relationships. There's no check there. Why is there no check there? Clearly, if I'm trying to pursue him or her, we're going to discuss our past and relationships. We don't need to go into explicit into explicit details about, oh, well, yeah, he did this to me and we was doing this and we, no. All, all he asked was for a simple number. How many people? He didn't ask for their names, their number, their phone numbers, their house address, their parents address, the grandparents address, their social security numbers, the grandparents social security numbers, birth certificates, social security cards, state IDs. No, just a simple number. One, two, three, four, five. Just a number, more than likely with him, it was probably, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, counting on the toes and shit. But if you're, you're embarrassed by it, clearly that means it's a higher number than some would expect. And, well, we just don't leave it at this. Hmm. Matter of fact, double hmm. Hmm, hmm. Matter of fact, suspects. Hmm. Shoot. But you know what? This is what he said. I guess I should have clarified the texting part. It didn't stop, per se, but picture it like a highway during rush hour, then a highway in, at 3 in the morning, like it went from nonstop to nothing like it was before, which is still a problem. That still poses a problem for you, regardless of if it's for him. Now, I got my own opinions on him, but I'm not going to voice that because I'm trying to keep this as, wait, is it biased? No, I'm trying to keep this as unbiased as possible, but y'all see how I feel. Second, no, this is what he said, I repeat. Nothing's perfect, of course, but to me it was. Like the first weekend, we really got to hanging out. After we left his house, he took me to this little food joint, this little food joint by his place, and got me this amazing drink. And this past weekend, he took me around his family and everything. He's not out, but you know, he it's like it's kind of like he thinks I'm decent enough to bring around his family. Then again, I'm probably saying things differently from my perspective. Now, see, this is how you know it's the beginning. You like. I feel like you, this person needs somebody better. You remember that he bought you this amazing drink. 20 years down the line, if y'all was to even make it half that far, that's a memory that'll stay with you. Remember when you took me to that food joint place and I had strawberry, pink lemonade, orange cherry, grape, uh, black cherry, that drink you, you got for me? Yeah, that, that's a memory. That's, that's sentimental. That's better than any materialistic object, money, gifts, whatever. Third, it's definitely worn off. I still get kind of geeked to see him, but I don't know about him. Now, see, if you got the, if you got the ask, then it's clearly a problem. If you got to ask, it's a problem. If you don't know, then ask. My God. Fourth, no rudeness at all. I'd rather have you keeping it real with me than looking like an idiot, making the same mistakes. This brings up yet another point. 
when I asked him what he was, because his little thing said, do not know yet. You know, his position, top, bottom, fully versed, versus top, versus bottom, whatever they want to be. He said that if he's really feeling the dude, he'll bottom. But if he's just trying to bust, he'll top. Now, he says, I thought I was more of a bottom, but I feel like I'm kind of versed now. Now, I don't know where the hell that 